This week, we are in the medieval city of Soissons. We investigate two huge events that shape the history of Soissons. Most importantly, we try French tacos, just so you don't have to. This I live up to the hype. Stick around and find out. Join us as we tour around magical France. We take in amazing provincial regions. We visit incredible chateaus. We marvel at historic cities. And we explore exotic film locations as we take you on a journey of discovery around this marvelous country so full of wonder, history and warm people. Learn something new in every episode as you join us on this intimate journey around the friends you need to see. If you haven't followed our story so far, there are a couple who have been traveling extensively in Europe and elsewhere and have embarked on our biggest friends trip yet. Smash the subscribe button and catch all the latest action. We have a really big episode coming up for you guys today. So grab a coffee, sit back, relax and enjoy. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Soissons is a historic city with a rich cultural heritage, notable landmarks such as the Gothic star Soissons Cathedral and a vibrant community with a mix of traditional and modern attractions. Howdy guys, we are in Soissons, so we are on our way to Rams and we thought like why not stop in this gorgeous medieval city. The tower and part of the nave were severely damaged in World War I and have since been restored. And in here, as you can see just behind me, there is a gorgeous cathedral of Soissons. It's quite epic and it's just... A matching tower on the other side of the facade was originally planned, but never built. And it's just a gorgeous day. The focus was predicting rain, but luckily it's just sunny and it's just like, I think, about 18 degrees. So quite amazing, very pleased with the weather today. And it's our third day in France. So we're gonna explore this little gorgeous town and talk to you soon. In January 2017, during a winter storm, strong winds collapsed in a significant portion of the west rose window. Large stone pieces of the window's tracery and sections of stained glass fell onto the pipe organ, causing it severe damage. Howdy guys, we are back to you from Soissons. We just drove a little bit to the city center and it's quite epic. It's called a hotel, but it's not actually a hotel, it's a city center uh, movie hotel. I mean, it's called Hall. Yeah. So it looks quite, quite beautiful. I mean, you can imagine it would be probably a nice, nice hotel. It's just a very central location here. Yeah, and it's a Saturday afternoon. I think something happened in there. We just heard like a live band music there. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of atmosphere. Some, some, <laughs> yeah, it's a this too. The Battle of Soissons in 1918 caused extensive damage to the city of Soissons. The intense fighting between German and Allied forces resulted in widespread destruction of buildings, infrastructure and other vital components of the city. Many of the city's historic landmarks, including churches, government buildings and residential areas, reduced rubble. The damage to Soissons was severe and it took many years for the city to recover from the destruction caused by the battle. Soissons is a beautiful and historic city with a rich cultural heritage. Its landmarks such as the Abbey saint jean de Vignay, the Cossack Notre Dame de Soissons Cathedral and the Roman Semai attract tourists from all over the world. The city is also known for its vibrant marketplaces, local cuisine and beautiful parks and gardens. People love Soissons for its blend of history and modernity. There is another gorgeous church just behind me in Soissons. We are still in Soissons just walking around. It's a kind of office thing here. We, we tried going there but unfortunately you have to have a ticket and we don't have one. We don't have one. Because <laughs> it was a spontaneous idea we took up obviously and just decided to make a stop on one here in Soissons. Well, we're getting pretty hungry now in any case. <laughs> yeah, we keep talking about tacos. Yeah. So we're going to find the place and I'll talk to you from there. Traveling allows you to experience different cultures, try new foods, meet new people, create memories, expand your perspective, challenge yourself, relax, discover new places, learn about history and have fun. Remember, travel is always worth it. So we went new at our target place. Really? <laughs> How's it guys? We found finally this amazing tacos place. It just looks like basically like a tacos franchise place. So we hopped in and we ordered two tacos that didn't have salsa sauce. Don't salsa. know why. That's so we picked one with barbecue, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> and one with mayo for myself because I love mayo. And they were, I'll tell you how much they were. Actually, that's kind of the price. Uh, they were $6.50 each, euros, and plus a uh, week of Fanta. That was, uh, how much was it? I don't know. I think it was about $1.30 or something like that, euros. And we got little, little fries. It's they pretty, were it's one ninety pretty euro. It's a pretty big meal. Yeah, it's actually a good meal, so it smells really amazing. So, Hopefully it's good. Talk to you soon. Otakos is a popular French fast food chain that specializes in serving French style tacos. It was founded in 2013 and has since expanded globally, offering a menu of tasty tacos, fries and drinks. Warning, do not be fooled. The menu essentially consists of various wraps, not Mexican tacos. So I just actually took a bite, guys, and it's got fries in it. So far, I could only taste mayo and fries. So hopefully, hopefully it's good. But so far, just tasting fries. A few moments later. How you guys? So basically, um, it's not a taco. I don't know what it is, but it's definitely not a taco. And beef, I thought it was just meat, but it's just beef sausage. I'm not really a big fan of that, so I'm not eating that. Um, Vic likes it, but I would prefer chicken. I think I should have gone for the, the chicken. But otherwise, I feel like I'm just eating basically a wrap with chips and mayo. It's a lot of mayo here, chips. <laughs> but it's still good, it's an interesting experience. So, yeah, we'll tell you the place after. We'll take a photo of that outside. Tell you what it is. Oh, 
Don't forget to follow me on Instagram on kellanicholas.au where you can stay up to date on all my latest photos from our travels overseas and locally. Also smash the like button and subscribe to get notified whenever a new video is online. I really appreciate your support and kind comments. Thank you and see you soon. If you really like this episode guys, remember to like and subscribe.